we had a manager whose name was Robbie Williams, you know, not Robbie Williams, a singer, but Robbie Williams from Three Stooges Management. They were the three head agents of Premier and Harbour Agency in Sydney and Melbourne, and they were our managers, and one of them was Robbie Williams, and he was our manager. He was also Rose Tattoo's manager. Anyway, being an agent, he had to deal with the overseas artists that came in from Frontier because that was part of the company. They got Iggy Pop out, right? and Iggy's doing the Metro in Sydney. Iggy's, you know, backstage with Robbie Williams, our manager, and Iggy goes, I, 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 I really got to have some cocaine, man, or I can't go on stage. And Robbie goes, oh, uh, it's a little late in the piece, mate. You know, so you know, I, you got to get it for me. I, I can't go on stage unless I have some cocaine. So Robbie runs into the manager's office to make calls. They didn't have mobile phones then. <laughs> so he makes some calls anyway. He goes, he comes back, he goes, Iggy, I got some lined up. It's coming in. So anyway, in comes the, the dude, right, mm-hmm. with the sunglasses and, you know, whatever they look like. Uh, not that I would ever know. Um, and um, he goes, here you go, Robbie. Here's your stuff, right? was apparently, not that I would know, you know Tim, but it was apparently a gram of cocaine. Anyway, Iggy took the bag and put it all on the table and lined it all up in a, in a beautiful line and rolled up his American dollar bill and put it all up his nose. The whole and thing. The whole thing and instantly shat himself before he's about to go on stage. So so it was then Robbie's job to get Iggy some new underpants and a new pair of pants before Iggy could go on stage. So that's my E-pop story.